called it life in the time of coronavirus. Senate Budget Committee members asking the audience to give one another some space and an abundance of caution as the spread of the virus dominates the conversation here on the campus of Rowan University in Glassboro. The Senate president surprising some by suggesting that more restrictions could be on the way. Yeah, well, that's what we're actually looking to see if we can do that. Uh, this budget committee is too soon, but going forward, like we have a bunch of committees next week, trying to be in a position where we can do it by Skype. We're actually looking at that now. Sweeney may yet face some pushback on that idea, but today it was almost Senate Budget Committee business as usual, with representatives from a variety of nonprofits, school districts, and business interests making their case before Chairman Paul Sarlo's powerful committee. I'm going to just ask everybody to be mindful of each other, give everybody space, give everybody the distance. Um, it's okay to be a little bit socially awkward. That's okay. <laughs> I get it. This being South Jersey, there was a presence from advocates down this way, especially in education, where the governor's school funding plan got a less than warm reception. Also recognizing that the $491 million dollar proposed budget is a long way from the $2.1 billion New Jersey students should receive. The cumulative effects of chronic and severe underfunding are still evident in the condition of many of our school buildings, lack of staff capacity, and limited programming choices. With lack of funding, the state created deep inequities between school districts. We have been fighting alongside our students for years now that someone will hear us. Someone will show us this formula and explain how we are to give our kids a thorough and efficient education when our budget keeps getting slashed. How will this change our community? Bored kids will always find something to do, and I doubt it will always be productive and safe. Even critics of the governor's $1.65 per pack cigarette tax proposal got their shot. Bottom line, uh, my, my members think this is nuts, and here's why it's nuts. We are going to lose a tremendous amount of revenues into the state of New Jersey if we increase the tax. We're not going to realize any increase uh, in revenues because of that tax increase. We have, for a number of years, been selling a lot of the volume of our cigarettes to New York. And New York is going to stop buying them from us Sarlo asked those who testified to leave the room afterwards in order to practice some social distancing. This is what business as usual is going to look like for the foreseeable future in New Jersey. Budget committees for both houses of the legislature have hearings scheduled through June, but there's still some question as to whether or not anybody will actually be at those hearings in person to testify. In Glassboro, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News. Thank you.